Hey everybody, this is Dr. Missy with Ezekiel's Wheel, and I just want to pop on here real quick. I am sitting outside of a place called Party City, and the Holy Spirit told me, he said, you know, a lot of people don't feel like it's a party right now. They don't feel like they've had a very, very fun year, especially coming out of 2018, and the Lord really brought it to my spirit. He said, you know why? And I was like, sure, tell me why. And he's like, because a lot of the warriors are failing to realize that I'm calling them to grow up. They're in a state, a lot of them are older, mature warriors. They've had a very difficult Christmas. They've had a very difficult end of the year in 2018, coming out of this fourth contraction point. And the Lord says, but when I was a child, I acted as a child. But now that I become a man or a woman, I put away all childlike ways. And the Lord reminded me <clears throat> back in uh, 1942, 43 through 45, when our warriors, when our soldiers were in World War II, and they were in snowy trenches with water and ice, while their loved ones were thousands of miles away. And they didn't really much feel like fighting either. They didn't want to do it. But in order to turn a ship around, in order to fight for freedom, in the spirit even, we sacrifice things. And Chuck Pierce said that we would be sacrificing. Some of us would be sacrificing things this year. And you know what? I would rather be where I'm at right now, walking through difficult places with people around me that love me, and that care about me, and people that I love and care about, that celebrate me, that I people that I celebrate, um, then being stuck in uh, a dysfunctional cesspool with people around me who really don't care about me, who don't really love me, or vice versa, you know, and and it's it's I guess what I'm trying to say is is that God has brought us out of so much dysfunctionality. We're on different spiritual pages now, and it's time to walk that out. The rubber has hit the road. It's not saying that you don't love people that have hurt you in the past, et cetera, et cetera. Of course we do. We do love them deeply. We hope that they get delivered. But now we don't have time to mess with that anymore. We've got to continue plowing forward and plowing up the ground and moving forward into this new place. Or things won't happen this year. So this is that. And the good consolation, the consolation part of this is that you're not the only one going through it. Leaders are going through it as much as followers. Everybody's going through. So you're not alone. We're all locking shields and we're doing this together. So I just want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to make sure you're with the right tribe this year. Make sure that you're jumping on uh, prayer teams that continue to march together. They know how to agree. They know how to war. They know how to work through the courtroom, navigating the courtrooms of heaven, things like that, because that's what's going to get you through. Okay? God bless you guys, and we're going to be staying with this. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, we break off this complacent spirit, this lethargic spirit with Exodus 15, 6. And I release, Father, joy. You said the joy of the Lord is our strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Lord, we're not here to entertain each other anymore. Not with the prophetic giftings, not with any of the giftings. We're here to get a job done. And I praise you, God, and I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.